Hi everybody, I'm back for a unboxing. And as you can see, this is the new Foxy Fix Box. It is a, let's see if I can get rid of the glare. Beautiful, beautiful box. And this one, I think I'm gonna hold on to and not use to ship something to my mother or sister, <laughs> sister-in-law. Um, so all I did was cut the tape here with my scissors. So let's see what, I know what I ordered, but you don't know what I ordered. Okay. So it's a lot bigger than I normally get. Normally, <laughs> you're used to seeing me unbox little things like this. This is just a um, passport. This is, uh, sorry, Foxy Fix Land, it's a number one. It is a passport size in the spice and it is the um, sage color and it has that extra pocket in the back. I've moved back into this because I just love it so much. Um, but let's see, this sample is pink grapefruit, one of the sugar letters. I only have one notebook in the sugar leather And it's this big, beautiful <laughs> blue one, which is one of their, um, I guess, like, Hobonichi covers. Um, but I don't use it for Hobonichi. I use it for um, my journal. And I keep um, inserts in it. These are Tomoe River inserts, and I've been practicing my drawing. There's, I really love that strawberry shortcake. She turned out really well. Let me bring her a little closer so you can see her. Um, oh, I tried to draw Mickey. There's Mickey. Oh, and there was another one that I did too. Where was that? And see, I just have swatches of different paints and some stencils and there we are. And I found a new eraser that works amazing on colored pencils. Um, some more uh, so I've been using, those are Jane Davenport stencils, and these are all of her products. I was trying to use them. Um, oh, but this is my newest journal. There's like a little bit of, and then I... With the Winnie the Pooh movie coming out, I was kind of Winnie the Pooh kind of <laughs> obsessed. So I started drawing all of the characters from Winnie the Pooh. And then I just did some random <laughs> stuff. And then oop, I'm using all of my stuff. So some new James Burke stuff. Anyways, so that's what I have in here. But this, what I ordered, isn't quite as large as this big, beautiful blue notebook. What I ordered. Let's, and of course, underneath all of the, the rooms are two of their Foxy Fix business cards. Let me get the box out of the way. Make sure we don't hit the tripod. So one of my favorite sizes is the standard Midori size. And I used to have a Foxy Fix in the standard Midori size in one of their more original leathers in the Wonderlust. And so, and I sold it and I was always, I, I did because I was, wasn't was using it. Um, and so I was kind of regretful that I did that. So ooh, there's even more <laughs> worms in there. So I was always regretting that I did that. So what we have here is a black Wanderlust or the licorice leather. And since I love the Midori so much, I don't mind using the um, extra elastics to hold inserts in like this. <laughs> so what I went with was just the single, I guess they call it a single couture 
Um, it does have a pen loop. Um, and, but this leather smells so amazing. And so I had one, it had stitching in it, and it was one of the very first ones. So it was when they had that, that tighter stitching. Um, and I think it even had a pen loop on it. You know, when they used to do the little pen loops that would hold the, the small pen. So I wanted to get this, and you'll see I chose a dark gray elastic. And this might be the notebook that I use for October. It's so, look at that, squishy. It, it is compared to the other leathers, the sugar and the um, spice, and even the lush. It's a thicker leather, much thicker. But it, it just has this, it is floppy, you know, it'll flop but it has structure, but it just smells, I don't know if you can see me in the photo, and I'm sorry if you can, it just smells amazing. It's one of my favorite leathers, and I was oh so sad that I got rid of it, and so I decided, and mine came before they even had a Foxy Fix logo. Mine was just, you know, black with the stitching. So, let me see if I have anything I can put in here. Actually, I've got all of this stuff on this one elastic. So it's just a standard Midori notebook. One elastic. And so what I have on here is actually quite a bit. I have um, the Midori plastic zipper pouch. I have the Midori or Traveler's Company. This is the, um, where's the first page? That's the months. Uh, it's the week on two pages vertical. And so I've been using this just to kind of memory keep things. And it's just a week. And so when I don't have time to like do a lot of art journaling, I will do this. <laughs> and then I have one of the um, knockoff Varoop zipper pouches that has a... <laughs> oh my goodness. That was me in first grade, I think? Yeah, 1979. What does that do in there? Um, some things. Oop, that one go back in. Um, and then I have a folder here with a writing board, a Midori from 2015, and this little Smashbox dude, and the back of the zipper pouch, which I think just has more. Yeah, it's got some Midori Travelers Company stuff. Um, so... We're gonna put all of this under this one elastic, because I have it held by one of the Midori Traveler's Company bands. And I might take the, uh, what's this called off? The um, pen loop, because I, I really don't use those, but look at how beautiful that is. Oh, it still smells amazing. Um, so there you go. Just a quick little unboxing of the Wonderlust in the Licorice. You can see how gorgeous that is. And you can see it still has room. It's because my pen is so... And I've got a lot in there. I've got an insert. I've got a zipper pouch. I got a second zipper pouch of cl in cloth, which are usually thicker. And I have a folder that's stuffed with stuff. But I still have room for more. 
So if you have any questions, leave them down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can and I will link Foxy Fix so you can find more information about their wonderful notebooks. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.